My dogs actually have always been so supportive from the very beginning. They always believed in me and encouraged me. And um, they always, yeah, they, they thought I was great. Hi, I'm Baby Queen and these are my first for Enemy. The first artist I fell in love with was Taylor Swift. Um, I actually had a Taylor Swift fan page on Twitter when I was 12 called at Society of Swift. And then I had a second fan page, right, called at Society Business. And I would use the second fan page to tweet other Taylor Swift fan pages to tell them to follow my main fan page. Genius. The first CD I ever bought, um, I know I had um, a Beyonce CD at home and I had a bunch of the, now that's what I call music. And I think the first one that I went out to buy myself was the Twilight soundtrack. <laughs> I sound like such a loser. The Twilight soundtrack and I would sit in my bedroom, look out the window and wait for Edward Cullen to just appear through the window and carry me away. You know what? I vacillated for very many years. I had, I had pictures of Taylor Lautner all over my bedroom wall. Now I would consider myself to be an Edward kind of girl um, just cause he's like a vampire and he, and I want to live forever. First tattoo I ever got was this eye um, that is rolling and crying at the same time because I am bored and sad. I was fresh off the boat from South Africa, 18 years old. My mom had a fit. The first job I ever had, this is a, this is a strange one because I actually only have ever had one job. Um, I worked at a record store, but for the first three years that I lived in London, I didn't have a job and I have no idea how I survived. I don't know how I did it. I lived in some of the most horrific places. I lived in this one basement flat that literally only had a bed, a disgusting red carpet and a luminous green kettle. And that was me. first band I was in, I was in like a bunch of bands. I've been in so many bands, dude. Like I was in, I think the first one I was in was a band in school with my sister's friend's brother, which sounds really confusing. Um, and I used to go around to his house and just like jam. <laughs> I've been in a lot of bands. I regret them all. <laughs> I think the first gig I ever went to, um, I probably went to like a bunch as, as a kid, but like the first one that I begged my parents to go to and went to with my friends was a, a Lady Gaga concert in South Africa. And I went with like um, a bunch of my friends and we camped out from 3 a.m. in the morning trying to get into the monster pit. It was amazing. I went in to that concert as a girl and I came out as a monster. <laughs> the first song I finished writing, I think um, when I was younger, I used to write a lot of songs about my dogs, like for my dogs, like I'd sing, sing the songs for them. The first song that I remember like being like an actual serious song was a song called Home that I wrote on the piano and I still remember it and I would sing it for you, but it's really fucking bad. So I'm gonna not do that. <laughs> My dogs actually have always been so supportive from the very beginning. They always believed in me and encouraged me. And um, they always, yeah, they, they thought I was great. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to thank my dogs for believing in me all this time. <laughs> this one goes out to you. They're, they're both dead now. Oh, no, only one of them's dead. One of them's still alive. Oh my God. Okay, so I don't know if this was the first gig I ever played, but there was this one gig in South Africa, okay, when I was, I must have been like 15. And I had my guitar and it was at an animal farm. 
and there was no mic stand and I was playing my guitar so some random guy was holding the microphone and I was sort of like bending over singing into the microphone and I kid you not there were two tortoises shagging throughout the entire performance but like really loudly like tortoises make really do you guys know that like really loud noises when they shag and I was trying to perform and they were literally shagging so that was it don't know if it was the first one but it was definitely the worst one the first thing I do when I get off stage at a game this actually is a true story Babs um, my manager stands though this is like a conversational thing that's been agreed on like this is actually what happens um if she's not there i get very upset like i throw my toys out the cart like a diva i'm kidding i don't i do um <laughs> babs stands on uh, off off stage and she holds a cigarette and then as i come off the stage <laughs> smoke a cigarette that's it that's what happens rock star rock and roll <laughs> The first thing I'm gonna do when the mixtape comes out is I'm going to smoke a cigarette probably and, and then probably have a glass of wine and um, a shot of tequila and, um, and another cigarette as well also. 